best 10 Chinese wuxia dramas you should watch in 2022. Superman and Batman can be considered martial heroes in the West. But in Chinese drama land, wuxia drama are set in ancient China. Wuxia drama's contest of Jianghu, martial arts, and swordsmen are the characters must know some form of martial arts. So, in today's video, we'll give you the top 10 best Chinese wuxia dramas you should watch in 2022. 1. Demigods and Semi-Devils This is the latest remake of Demigods and Semi-Devils which is slated for 50 episodes. The drama is set during the reign of Emperor Zedong of the Song Dynasty, and the story revolves around the experiences of three protagonists, Zhao Feng, leader of the Beggar Clan, Duan Yu, a prince of Dali, and Suzhu, a Shaolin monk. The three good friends become sworn brothers during their journey in the pugilistic world as they defend their country against foreign forces. I personally think the 2003 version is the best adaptation, but if you're looking for a pure wuxia drama with a lot of fighting scenes in HD video quality, check out this remake. 2. Who Rules the World? Who Rules the World is a 40 episode drama based on a novel of the same name. The drama tells a legendary decade long romance between Hei Fangxi and Bai Fangxi and their adventures together. Yang Yang plays Hei Fangxi, a handsome man and elegant man. Xiao Lucy plays Bai Fangxi, an elegant girl. The drama tells their love story that blossomed in blood after a decade of struggle in martial arts world. Yang Yang and Zhao Lucy have incredible chemistry together and the martial arts scenes are superb, whether the characters performing them are the two main leads or the supporting cast. And they go level beyond sword fighting as neither of the leads are sword user instead. Yang Yang uses his fan and Zhao Lucy uses the sleeves of a rope though in later scenes they are shown to be capable to use words. 3. The Lost Sword Ship the Lost World Ship is a 36-episode drama that revolves around a martial arts expert who experiences defeat at the hands of his enemies and gains the help of an old man. He later joins a righteous sack and embarks on a journey to become a true hero. But before we get to our other list, make sure you've subscribed it and liked, so you don't miss our next update. And with that, let the video begin. Four, Sword Snow Stride. Sword Snow Stride is a 38 episode drama that tells the story of Chu Feng Nian, the eldest son of the General Xu Xiao of the Northern Liang Dynasty, who goes through hardships and grew to avenge his mother's death. Along his journey through the martial arts world, he improves his martial arts skills and he meets a new friend with whom he establishes a strong relationship with, who later help him become the king of Northern Liang. This drama doesn't have a lot of action scenes, but when it came, it was phenomenal and kept you wanting more. This drama consists of both wuxia and fantasy, and the actors were not overdub. They use their own voice and I have to give props to the actors for that, because actors are always overdub in most dramas. Five, Luoyang. 
Lu Yang is a 39-episode drama set in the ancient capital Yuyang during the era of 13 dynasties and revolves around three people who come together to investigate a series of mysterious incidents involving the conspiracy to overthrow Empress Wu Xiechan, the only empress to ever rule China. This drama combines martial arts and characters from a few layers of olden society in a rich historical setting of the Du Dynasty, the time of the great rule of Empress Wu Xiechan. I've enjoyed Luoyang with a face that left me attached to my screen. Beautiful visual details, camera shots and combat, as well as excellent acting across the board. And there was little to be picky about when it came to this drama's shortcomings. Six heroes. The kind Wang Xiaoqi leaves the mountain for the first time to travel. He encounters Fen Ro, Bai Zhou Fei, and Su Meng Chen, who become his lifelong friends. In the capital city where the capable succeed, he experiences brotherhood and romance. Squashing evil with his friends transforms him from inexperienced youth to responsible hero. Seven, Sword Dynasty Sword Dynasty is a 34-episode drama that tells the story of a sword cultivator who plots to offend his mother's death and overthrow the tyrannical king of Hang. Just like Sword Snow Stride drama consists of both wuxia and fantasy, but it's heavy on wuxia elements as there are plenty of sword fights and stunts, nice cinematic shots, and the choreography is top-notch. Eight, Nirvana in Fire 2 Nirvana in Fire 2 is a 50-episode drama that is also a sequel to the 2015 hit drama Nirvana in Fire. This drama focuses on Xiaoping Zhang and Xiaoping Qing, the talented sons of Xiao Jingcheng, the prince of Changlin who is the general of the Liang Dynasty's most powerful army. Xiaoping Zhang is the eldest son and heir of Changlin, and Xiaoping Jing is a carefree boy who receives lessons from the master of Langya Hall in martial arts world. Some worry that the Changlin Manor is gaining too much power and favor, and as such, they start to plot against them. This drama story is different from Nirvana in Fire. This drama focuses more on familial teas, loyalty, and righteousness towards the emperor, the country, and the people. The cast was great, and I love the familial bonds that the Changlin family had. They loved, respected, and protected each other. And I also love the brotherly bond between the main characters. This is a political drama as well as a wuxia drama, and it might not be for everyone. Nine bloody romance. Bloody romance tells the of Li Yi Tong's character, a woman who goes through hell and back to become an assassin. She also has to deal with a myriad of personalities such as Chaming, the cruel and impulsive master of Ku Man, the gentle Xing Fang, and the mysterious Kuang Zhi. She later falls in love with Ying Si, a man who stays by her side like a shadow. This drama has a unique story with incredible art direction, acting, sets, and an amazing original soundtrack. Ten, the Sleuth of Ming Dynasty. 
The Salute of Ming Dynasty is a 48-episode drama set during the Ming Dynasty. The drama tells the story of a quick-witted senior-ranking government official who takes a break from his routine activities to investigate a murder. He later teams up with a martial arts specialist guardsman in a bid to solve the case. This drama was directed by Jackie Chan and is fast-paced with a lot of chasing and fighting scenes. The drama also has great martial arts scenes with incredible sword fighting scenes. The drama has enough interaction between the male leads to get BL fans all hot and bothered without running a fall of Chinese censorship. And that's a wrap for our drama list video. If you like it, please leave a thumbs up. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. See ya!